Welcome to the jungle, everyone. I'm Mercedes-Benz reporter Yasmin. We are about to witness not one, not two, but three world premieres by Mercedes. So chop, chop, let's get to it. Now what we have right here, guys, you have never seen before, I guarantee you this. It is a digital transformer, meaning that as soon as you hit 80 kilometers per hour, it will automatically transform. We have a number of aerodynamic measures that will kick in to alter the shape of your vehicle and improve the airflow. Ultimately, we have two cars in one. On one hand, we have a very sensual four-door coupe. On the other hand, we have an aerodynamics world champion with a CD value of 0.19. We are seeing a lot of the S-Class design line. So of course it's luxurious, it's stylish, it's very, very progressive in design, as you can see. There is another feature that gives us a very good idea of what the future actually can behold, and that is car to x Now with car to x this vehicle can communicate with vehicles around it and with other sources of information so that your car will actually tell you what lies around the next corner before you even get there. Lucky me, I now get to quiz Gordon Wagoner, Head of Design at Daimler. Gordon, how are you doing on this very special day today? Very good and nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Why don't we start off by explaining once more what Concept IAA actually stands for exactly? Well, Concept IAA not only stands for International Auto Show, it stands for Intelligent Aerodynamic Automobile. What is the vision or what was the initial vision behind the car we see here today? Well, the initial vision is, of course, as a concept to have a four-door Gran Turismo, which is very stunning, very beautiful, very sexy on one hand, but achieves a phenomenal world record drag of 0.19 with active measures. And combine both, and that was the test. So thank you. Very good, yeah, it's my pleasure. Thank you, thank Gordon. You have a great day. Thank you. I am now here with Teddy Ball, Head of Aerodynamics and Wind Tunnel at Daimler. Teddy, how are you doing today? Great, thank you. So Teddy, why don't you give me a quick rundown through all of those key aerodynamic features and how they work. Okay, we have five aerodynamic features on that car. Let's start in the front. We have this uh, automatic grill shutter system in, in the very first uh, uh, area of the car kind of little diamond flaps that close the cooling air intake. Then we have uh, below the front lid spoiler and that retracts at higher speeds and gives a better air inflow in the underbody. We have these active front flaps uh, which move a little outward and backward and lead the air perfectly over the front wheel and the rim which goes then at higher speeds from the styling mode uh, with a deep bowling via centrifugal forces to a perfect aero disc. And at the end, we have the um, rear end extension, which protrudes out of the car approximately 400 millimeters and shape a perfect aero tail. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Thank you. Bye bye. Ladies and gentlemen, the new S Class. Cabriolet is the very first open top luxury four seater Mercedes Benz has created since 1971. And when you take a look at it, it was definitely worth the wait, now wasn't it? The new S Class Cabriolet is actually the last member to complete the new and very successful S Class family by Mercedes Benz. And as with everyone else of the family, we see nothing but timeless beauty. But that's not all. Mercedes Benz claims to hereby have built one of the most comfortable convertibles in the world. And that is a pretty big promise. So we're going to find out if that's true right now. Oh. oh. Okay, it's true. It's true all the way. I have gotten to check out a number of automobiles so far, but this is one of the most stunning, honestly. Um, we are seeing luxurious design, sporty at the same time. I am feeling some very, very fine fabrics here. And with all of this class, plus the open soft top, it feels like we're in the midst of some open air lounge, some super sophisticated open air lounge. This is amazing. 
Nevertheless, we know that comfort is not only what we can see with our eyes. We have a standard three-layer acoustic soft top. We have the roof lining. We have the ceiling concept of the doors. We have double glazed windows. All of these factors contribute to doing a magnificent job of locking out all of that wind noise. So it's also comfort for the ears. And one thing I'm very fond of personally is our intelligent climate control because unlike conventional systems, this system is fully automatic. So whether you decide to go drop top or covered up, you'll always find yourself in a feel-good climate. So that brings us to our third world premiere of the day, the new C-Class Coupe. Now, this ride is athletic. At the same time, it's anything that would ever come to mind when you hear the words modern luxury. The new coupe, it has not only gotten longer in size, the frameless doors, the freestanding exterior mirrors, these things underline its sportiness. This is really my kind of car. You can tell that that sporty spirit on the outside does continue in here on the inside. It's elegant. It's stylish, everything is very high class, all at a very sporty level. I'm enjoying that. And when you look around, you'll notice that we do have a pretty generous amount of space as well. Now the new C-Class Coupe suspension was built with focus on that agile driving. If you wanna take that even to the next level, then you can add the optional Airmatic air suspension. That plus the very lightweight body of the car, all of this contributes to a very pleasant, very sporty driving sensation. And I myself, I cannot wait to try that out. After today, I very much look forward to taking each and every one of these world premieres for a test spin. Be sure that I'll keep you posted on that. And until then, you guys take care and I'll be seeing you very, very soon. Bye.